Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be taking a look at Nitrux OS version 1.0.15. Now first off I have to say this distribution is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Wow it is stunning. They have their own custom desktop called Nomad and it links into the KDE Plasma desktop and this is a bleeding edge KDE Plasma desktop which is currently at version 5.13.4. In terms of the underlying operating system, well, it's Ubuntu of some version. <laughs> yeah, this is a real mixture of underlying OSs. It links with KD Neon, Ubuntu 1804 and Ubuntu 1810. There's no clear details of what it is in the LSB release. Looking at the kernel, it is version 4.18. The apt slash sources dot list file indicates that the underlying system is Ubuntu. And we have mentions of the Cosmic version, so that's 18.10. Looking at that, Bionic is commented out. So yeah, the underlying system would therefore appear to be 18.10, which is not yet released. And they have their own custom repository as well. But anyway, enough about the dev files. That is not where the focus of the applications are on this desktop. The focus is actually app images. The app images you can obtain through the Nomad Software Center, which seems to be particularly sparse. I've not actually managed to find anything I wanted to test. Oh, go on, let's try something. So we'll try KSNP. There's no information about the application. It's just simply get and remove. So if I try and find it, ksnip, oh, I mistyped that, okay, snip, here it is. Just wanted to demonstrate something opening. Let's go back to the desktop for a moment. Now looking across at the right hand side, all the system menus open up vertical full screen but positioned on the right hand side. Reminds me of the Raven menu in the Budgie desktop. But here we are, this is implemented in KDE. Yeah, certainly does look very nice. We have the Latte dock at the bottom of the screen, a global menu panel at the top of the screen, and the Nomad launcher on the top left hand side. The Nomad launcher does differ a bit from the standard KDE offerings. I would say it seems to be focused more on searching the applications. But like KDE, we do have control of favorites. The searcher doesn't seem to be quite as feature rich as the other KDE menu offerings. For example, it is a little bit unresponsive. Say if I'm looking for system settings, and I know it is right there below me, but let's say I want to look for settings. Come on, third letter. Yes, we have it now on the third letter. Looking for documents, it seems to focus more on the folder name rather than the file name. For example, let's say I'm looking for a document starting with CRT, and it's actually found nothing. But if I look at the folder, the doing the search for the folder name does yield the document results. There was a bit of a bug here, and I did mention this to the developer. And if you go and right click on the application launcher, select alternatives, and choose one of the other alternative widgets, it seems to get rid of the widget, and it's a bit of a faff to bring it back. But anyway, those issues aside, let's look back at the features of the operating system. So there is a theming widget called Cavantium Manager. And there seems to be some interesting features here. So if I go and configure the active theme, for example, under compositing and general look, I could enable translucent windows. Do a save, and we have a bit of translucency there. Let's open up some other applications. Yeah, a little bit of transparency there in Kate. Dolphin. Yeah, a lot of transparency there. <laughs> Looking fancy. Not sure about the practicalities, but hey, looks good. And we can turn the transparency off again. Yeah, so there's various other changes we can make. So yeah, an interesting feature to have. Playing around with the settings even more than normal in the KDE. Very nice, very nice. The default music player is Babe. And this seems to have advanced quite a bit since I last used it. Well, certainly a different look on it anyway. Nitrix have included their own custom firewall called Nomad Firewall. I certainly like the look and feel of it. So we could have a new rule. Um, that looks so simple. 
allow, deny, reject, limit, incoming and outgoing, source addresses and ports, and enabling logging. That looks very nice and simple and beautiful. I downloaded a couple of app images myself, so I've got KDN Live and Krita. The theming seems to come out perfectly in these. Um, yeah, no issues with uh, the mouse cursor like there was in the snaps. From what I understand though, app images are a bit more chunkier than snaps, and snaps are a lot more chunkier than the dev packages. <laughs> it seems to be the price you pay having all dependencies in one package. But as I couldn't find these in the software center, I just downloaded them from the website. So I simply did a search for Krita app image, went to download, downloaded it to my hard drive, opened it in Dolphin, and you can go through the open with app image first run utility. You get the option of deploying it, so making a shortcut on your desktop. So yeah, as I showed, that worked fine. So yes, a bit of an interesting and unusual Linux distribution. I do have to say the theming is absolutely beautiful. Even their selection of wallpapers, yeah, very nice. The Nitrix guys have contributed themes to other desktops and applications, and also contributed quite a lot of artwork to the Plasma 5 desktop. So it certainly is not just a case of, here is another distribution with a fancy wallpaper and desktop theme included. There is a bit of a difference on the underlying operating system and with a unique KDE desktop offering as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.